welcome back to my channel it is of course chelsea of she designs things and in today's video we are going to be going over something really cool it is a widget or i should say a set of widgets for google sites and i'm super excited to kind of go over this product with you guys because for I want to say a very long time most people don't know this thing even exists so it was sent to me actually via my design critique um their actual template platform like marketplace but as i got into it i decided i would rather do a critique of what they have created as a project and i think you're going to be really into it so let's go ahead and jump into this so as I stated in the intro, I was actually sent this part of the site uh, to review as a part of my design critique. And this was sent to me a while ago. Those of you who follow along understand that, uh, I want to say 2023, end of 2023, I did have brain surgery. So then it's just been an uphill battle ah, since then. Um, so now I've gone ahead and, you know, gotten very slowly back into the the wheelhouse of doing things um so i wanted to do a design critique when i came across this one i was like i think i want to make this its own video in general only because i want to discuss the widgets widgets for google sites exist they exist all over the place all over the platform um they're not very difficult to find i even have some widgets myself but now in Google sites, you do have the ability to search embedded content. And that is super important when we're talking about adding content to your Google site that is external, meaning not native to the platform itself. So I do want to, you know, briefly cover this site here, but I do want to get into the sites buddy portion of it um, because they do utilize some of the widgets here on their standalone homepage. So we have this search bar right here that allows allows you to search the entire site. And I thought that this was really cool and really well executed and it is mobile friendly, trust me. I tested prior to creating this video. So I highly recommend using this widget if you wanna create that search bar and not just leave it floating in the corner where nobody can actually really pay attention to that. All right, so getting into Sites Buddy. This is Sites Buddy. It is a Chrome extension um that's the smiley face on the side real quick for the developer ah uh, change the smiley face the smiley company is bad no 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 they sue literally anyone who uses a smiley face as a part of their ip so i highly suggest you know you know just just go ahead and get rid of the smiley use something else only because i'm not kidding they have been suing people on etsy for using a smiley face and i was like whoa that's ridiculous it's kind of a known thing so just change the smiley that being said moving forward let's talk about what it is that they've created that i think is so cool all right so you have your standard google site everything that i'm showing you is built on google sites literally every single thing the install extension it's a form of um uh, text and then we have the uh meet the sites buddy we we have this button right here we all know that these things are native to google sites you can do it and then they have some rounded corner sort of elements for the google site towards the bottom here we see that they have a bunch of different widgets and tools that you can utilize for your google site what i like about this is that it's designed in google site a lot of the things that we use to add to google sites are honestly they do it for every platform but this particular creator literally built all of their sites in google site <laughs> which i highly recommend doing because how are you going to know what it is that you're creating for if you don't use it so i really like that and that's why i you know decided to spend most of today diving into all of the components the widgets the elements that they've created now there are some free elements and then there are some paid elements that you can purchase. I am not going to, you know, kerfluffle with their hustle. Um, meaning I'm not going to tell you how to do specific things. Those who know, know, but for those of you who are not tech savvy, a lot of these, uh, widgets and tools will be useful. So 
getting to it, they have some t- some starter tools. That's their template library where they have over 100 templates um, that they've designed and created for Google Sites. And real quick, that is what this like Google site marketplace um, is that they've created. So every single thing on this page is every site that you see is a Google site. Um, That's all I can say about that. (laughs) It's just all a Google site. Now, moving forward, let's go back to the widgets. They do have some pixel stock images, the notepad, color picker, things like that. But what I liked, and I'm gonna show you the widget, is the widget along the side where you have many different options to create and add and embed um, things into your Google site. And I'm gonna show you some examples using the um, templates that they've created. So real quick, looking at the marketplace, they do have this clickable icon right here that plays a video. It's more like an audio that's going on in the background. Ever wish you could just magic up a professional website? Like, poof, it's online and it looks amazing. there you have it. And <clears throat> I thought, excuse me, I'm getting over code, y'all. <laughs> I thought that was really cool. So I wanted to just kind of pinpoint, you know, what that looks like if you're utilizing their site. And they do actually have a tutorial on this. Um, and they do have it listed down under media if you wanted to go and dive into that even further. Some of the widget elements they have I've already discussed, and I'll show you where I've discussed it myself. Um, and that's just, it just makes sense for me to show you where I've discussed it because there is a multitude of ways to get the same result. So first widget first, everyone loves that Squarespace has the marquee effect. If you've been following me for a while, then you know that I have a template that I give away that's literally called the marquee. And here is what that looks like. This is the marquee. Um, I'll show you marquee effect coming through every line comes through at a different speed and this is just something that I give away but it is a full page embed so keep in mind if you've probably already received this but I never showed how to have a marquee effect on your actual Google site just by itself and so if it was something you're interested in having I highly recommend it checking out the sites buddy um, only because it's a Chrome extension and it's the floating bar right here for you to add to your Google site. So here is what it looks like in use. The speed is set really slow on this one, but you can increase the speed um, if you're going to be, you know, using this particular Google site. And much like myself, you will see a lot of noto emojis (laughs) on their sites because it's the best way to get sort of the icon and not have to bring in a lot of elements to your Google site. They have um, different templates that are like, uh, they're they called their 2.0 templates that have like rounded design and the non-rounded design. So just keep that in mind if you're gonna go and check out their template heaven um, sites. But moving back to the widgets, Form Styler is also really cool, especially if you don't wanna, you know, change your Google site or I should say your forms that's sort of embedded like this. I think for me, I created an HTML um, for my Google sites, my premium design. And for them, this is also a premium feature. And that's because it takes us a lot of time to be able to create these widgets. So it's only fair that you, you know, pay for whatever service that this individual is providing to you. I do it as a part of a custom design. I do not do it for templates. Um, But just an example of what it looks like if you wanted to have your own contact form um, be styled with a sites buddy. Another cool feature that they have um, is the rotating sort of floating circle. I've seen this through a lot of their designs where it has like different, you know, wording, obviously, because you can change the text such as contact, you know, contact me or a sale now or something like that on this particular design of theirs is also located at the very top. Um, along with that marquee effect. So here it is like, you know, explore my services. One thing I would do, like, obviously it would be clickable. I think that's the whole point of the URL here. Um, But this is a premium feature. So um, you can click on the premium feature to see exactly how much it would cost for you to add something like this to your Google site. And don't forget, as I stated now, 
that uh, embeds are actually searchable, you want to make sure that the information that you're putting in your embed it makes sense. Um, so let's see. Let's take a look at some of the other cool things that they have that you can add like to your Google site. Now the search box is really cool because it will search your entire website. Um, so I'm going to just close this here just to show you what it would look like. So let's see search box and it, it's a, you know, free feature here. You can change the border colors, all that kind of stuff. But in order for you to do this, you do need to have the, you know, pro version unlocked. Um, other than that, it's just going to look standard. Um, I do have a search bar in my support site, but I, you know, changed mine. My code is very different from theirs. So just keep that in mind. Now let's search your site. We're going to search and make sure that it's actually functioning. I'm going to choose, say one of their designs to search for it. And I see Maya, Zoe, Lana. So I'm going to search for Lana. And let's just see if it works. So it will open in a new tab. Um, that's just kind of how it works. And we do see here that the new feature for Google sites, which was announced in July, that you're able to search for embedded files. So if I click on embedded files, there's nothing embedded with the name Lana. Um, but if we go back to here, we see Lana being the first template that shows up right across here. And it's just because I don't like the search icon. I removed it from my site, which is a premium feature if you have um, a higher tier of workspace. So I don't have the search icon, but I don't mind having the search bar. There's a difference between the two and it just, it makes more sense because you can actually put the search bar any place you want. And then for those of you with uh, specific business niches, that would also make the site seem more I want to say legit because <laughs> sometimes with Google sites, the problem that I find is it lacks that legitimacy in its design. Whereas when I look at something like this, that's, that's literally built in a Google site. I can see the legitimacy. Now, if you wanted to see all of the widgets that they've created, they do share the widgets under their template uh, heaven, but there's also that extension right across the top that you can add and it'll add just like I have here on the corner um, of my, you know, search browser. Now, there's also different things, like I said, a Google Drive video. I have a tutorial on that. Um, but again, the code for mine and the code for theirs is very different. Mine comes from the standpoint of a designer to designer. Theirs comes from the standpoint of uh, them to you, like the consumer side who just wants to launch your website very quickly. So I really do enjoy that, that it's more catered specifically for individuals who um, have no idea what they're doing. So I, I think that that alone leaves me to recommend using this product. Now there's not that many people who know about it. I think they even have their own YouTube channel, which I'll try to link. Um, I, I will link it, you know, in the description box, just so you can go and shove some love and support for all of their hard work, because I know firsthand how much work goes into creating these things and trying to make a Google site look good and authentic. Um, and how difficult it can be with its limitations. So final look here is their YouTube page, which only has seven subscribers. So let's try and get them a little bit more subscribers because they really did create something that I believe is an excellent tool for Google sites. And you don't have to pay per view like you do with freaking what's that stupid widget widget thing. I hate that widget thing. Uh, elf widget. I hate elf widget. I'll <laughs> just say it like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Dying of a cold. <laughs> I don't like that. It's so expensive and they charge per view. Um, I don't think that's economical in the long run for a lot of people who are just starting out. So I recognize that this might be a better tool, especially for those of you with small businesses who are just starting out. There's there is something for everyone out there and there's a million different ways to do the same thing. So go ahead and give them some love and thanks so much again for watching and see ya.